the 10 best and worst microcurrent devices available. I have bought and tried a lot of these. And yes, I know the correct pronunciation is bought, but I like bide and tried because it rhymes. And as a medical esthetician who loves to depuff my face in the morning, I use some of these personally as well as on other people. The question is, which ones are actually the best? And when some of these products can be as expensive as $500, where is your money best spent? I have some disasters and some microcurrent devices that have transformed my skin. And shockingly, I don't believe that the new face is my favorite. We're going to talk about all of this as well as what, what not to do if you don't wanna throw a new face off of your desk and break it because that would suck. I want you to know where to steer clear, where to save your money because there are some scams out there. And then the things that are absolutely wonderful that have personally transformed my skin as well as others. Now with all of this, we need to discuss what microcurrent is and who it's for. Microcurrent is shooting microcurrents of electricity into the skin, basically stimulating muscles. A lot of brands and a lot of companies say that it does many things. Tightens the skin, lifts the skin, can give you a chiseled contour. Some brands say that it also helps with collagen stimulation and helping to reverse wrinkles. In my personal experience, I have found that the best collagen stimulation comes from things like lasers and chemical peels done in dermatology clinics. Again, by myself as a medical esthetician with a doctor in derm or with a PAC, with a specialist, with a dermatologist. If you're really looking to build collagen, that's going to be your best bet. Microcurrent may be able to build collagen, but I don't see a ton of backing for that. What I love microcurrent for and have seen results with is actually lymphatic drainage, is actually tightening and toning of the skin, specifically with muscles and giving you like a contoured look and a lifted face. And this is not a facelift, it's not the same thing, but the way microcurrent works is that it stimulates your muscles inside of your skin. There is medical data and science showing that this stimulates ATP, adenosine triphosphate, which is what your cells use as energy. And this is wonderful. And again, even just massage, this movement can help to drain lymphatic fluid, that stuff that can kind of build up and make us look puffy and help us get that back into the body and circulating throughout. I love microcurrent on my puffy days. That is how I mainly use it. But in clinic, it can also be used to mitigate bad Botox. Think about it. Botox is used to prevent your muscles from moving. It's to prevent you from being able to make expressions. Because if we can't do this, then we can't get wrinkles. Unfortunately though, a lot of people who have Botox use microcurrent. And that doesn't make a lot of sense because even though microcurrent is not causing you to wrinkle, it is stimulating your muscles underneath the skin, which is going to make your Botox wear off quicker. If you have Botox and you're using microcurrent, make sure that you're using the microcurrent in a place that the Botox is not being used. Or if you have bad Botox, for example, if you got like a Spock brow or if the Botox was just terrible, using microcurrent can actually help reverse that. Basically telling the Botox, hey bro, stop working, get out of here and getting your face back to normal faster. So just keep that in mind. And there's also a difference between microcurrent in clinic and at home. Now here comes an unpopular esthetician opinion, but I'm going to give it to you as it is. Yes, Yes, microcurrent is offered in clinic. Now, if you're getting microcurrent for something else on the body or for a very specific reason, go in professionally. But if you're getting microcurrent because you want to depuff or to lift, you're probably gonna pay 50 to 100 to 150 dollars for a facial, right? And you're going to have microcurrent along with that. But in order for microcurrent to work, you need to use it over time. So a lot of estheticians or practitioners will book people, you know, six, eight, or 12 sessions. That's great for the person who's providing the service because it's gonna cost a lot of money. But for the person who's actually getting the treatment, it lasts the day that you do it. But then if you're trying to build muscle over time, think about going to the gym. You don't just go to the gym once and then never go again for the next two months. You wanna do a a little bit every day or five days a week to actually see results. And that's how I see microcurrent at home. If you can do some of this at home every single day, you're getting more of those benefits rather than just going in for an extreme session once or twice a month. Now, if you wanna do advanced microcurrent at home, which we're going to speak about, you may wanna go into clinic first and see someone, see a professional, learn the facial anatomy and learn how to do it at home. That could be awesome. But for a lot of people, if you're looking to commit to this long-term, the at-home devices are going to get you more bang for your buck. Even if some of these are costing $150 or even $500, that is the cost of five microcurrent sessions, right? And then you could use it every day, five days a week, as opposed to once a month for five or six months. Now, the one caveat is that if you can't stick to this at home, if you won't keep yourself accountable, you listen, if you don't use it, it's not gonna work. So if you're someone who needs to have that accountability, going in, booking an appointment and showing up might be right for you. But if you're someone who knows how to brush your teeth every day and apply your sunscreen every day, that's when I think the at-home things are really good. And again, 
unpopular esthetician opinion because a lot of estheticians obviously want to get people in clinic and there are reasons to do so. Uh, again, it's not nefarious, it's just that everybody has a different philosophy when it comes to booking clients and how they operate things. But from my personal perspective, I've seen a lot of benefit from using things daily. And again, that benefit is for me in the deep puffing area, not so much in the collagen stimulation. And that is what I use microcurrent for. Now, let's talk about some of the disasters that I have gone through. One of the worst microcurrent devices I've ever used, I don't even have here. <laughs> it was so bad and it was this flashy light thingy that I got off of some scammy corner of the internet. It had like LED plus microcurrent. It was like shocking my face, but it never did so evenly. It almost felt like it was short circuiting my face every single time I used it. And half the time it would work and half the time it wouldn't. Now with all microcurrent, you need a conduction gel. We should probably do a different video on all the different gels out there, especially because you could buy specific gels or you could just use something like ultrasound gel. But even with different gels trying to do things right, it was a disaster. I think I paid like 80 or $90 for it. And then later on, I found out it was being sold from Alibaba as a dropship product. I was so pissed. I don't even have it anymore. I got rid of it. Um, it was a disaster. And if you ever see this, it doesn't matter what brand it is. It's probably coming from the same manufacturer somewhere overseas in a factory. Who knows? This was trash. Worst of the worst, I do not recommend. Now, close second is this guy. I wanted to love this. This is from Touch Beauty. And let me say, I do love this for the neck. And back when this was like the second, maybe third microcurrent device I tried, I liked it a lot. And then later on, we upgraded, we found things that are better, but this is from a brand called Touch Beauty. I actually gave some of these away at one point. This just stopped working. <laughs> um, it was like $500 too. And I also found out that this was one of those drop shipped things. Now this is intense. It does shock you a lot, but at least it wouldn't fluctuate in how shocky shocky it was the way other ones were. The thing is that it has these nice roller balls that I love. If you wanna use this just as a massage tool and not even worry about the microcurrent, then it's absolutely worth it. This is heavenly. But but for a microcurrent device, I didn't see results with it. I couldn't even get it to like grip my, you know, face the right way. The balls were just the, the balls of the wrong shape. That sounds terrible. Nobody take that out of context. It was just awful. And then when I got to trying different things, I realized what I was missing. Oh boy, this was a no-no. I do not recommend it. Um, if you can get it for free, then use it as like a body massager. But for any other purpose, I just, I can't recommend it. It also takes forever to charge. Um, and I just didn't see results for it. Like it was just Now this next one is one that I wanted to love. We reacted to a celebrity skincare routine where they used a, I think it's from a brand called Chantakel or Chantakai. They used this scorpion solar powered microcurrent device that looked so amazing. And I sat there and I was like, should I buy it? Wait a minute, are you telling me this is a solar powered microcurrent dragonfly? Is that what this is? You guys, I might actually have to get my hands on this. I wanted it so badly, but it was like 200 or 300 bucks. My yeah. ass is way too cheap for that. So you know that I went looking for a budget version. Well, guess what I found? Almost the exact same thing. This is literally from Evans Skin. It's called the Evans Skin Phoenix. I actually checked and it looks like they're being sourced from the exact same area. The box is the same, the product is the same, same, it's only the name that is different. And this is still $150, but I was like, okay, this seems way better. I bought this, I was so excited to try it. It's like solar powered, so I put it in the sun and it never fucking charged. I don't know what to do. I don't know what's wrong with it. Like there's no charging things in it either. I wanted to try this, but I literally have not even been able to use it because it literally doesn't start. I really like the probes, but they don't grip the skin as well as something like this. But I do like that they are smaller. So again, I basically got myself an expensive paperweight that I could use to kind of massage the skin. It does feel good. I love the concept, but <laughs> Cassandra, you should have known that a solar powered microcurrent device was not going to work. Like what was I thinking? I want a solar powered microcurrent, okay? <laughs> My alarm, Whew, that scared me. This I wanted to love, but I am putting it at the worst end of the list because I can't even get it to start. Um, sad life, nice massaging paperweight. This next one also comes with a caveat. This is one of my favorite products, but I hate it for microcurrent. This has actually transformed my skin. 
It has helped me with a burn on my chest. Can you even see? You can't even see the burn anymore. I used to have really bad pigmentation. This is the Solo Wave. Now this is an LED product and you're probably thinking, Cassandra, I've heard you talk about this. You love it. It's like a spot treatment LED product. I do love it. It's literally the size of a pen. I'm obsessed with it for spot treating LED or you know spot treating my burn when I was overseas and needed something that was travel friendly. But I found out this is supposed to be a microcurrent device. How? When I bought this, I first off bought two because one got lost and I had to buy one off of Amazon. And it was our beautiful butterflies that were like, how do you like it for the microcurrent? I was like, what do you mean the microcurrent? It's a light wand. No, no, no. Apparently, this is supposed to have microcurrent in it. I use it for the red light therapy, for the vibrating massage, and the therapeutic warmth. It was amazing for my burn and for my little pimples. If I have little pimples like this one, I spot this on and it is such a good little LED treatment. I love this. But since when the f does it have microcurrent? I had no idea. And let me tell you, they do sell it with like, an, uh, like a serum. Even when I use it with a serum, even when I use it with a microcurrent gel, again, I just schlup it in and go like this. I don't feel microcurrent anywhere. I don't feel it doing anything. I don't feel it tensing my muscles. Maybe it's doing it without telling me, but I have not seen any depuffing, any anti-wrinkle. This is a wonderful, you know, LED device for on the go use. I love this, you know, for what it is, but for microcurrent, since the win, since the win. Um, I love this product. If you're looking for a spot treatment LED that is easy to use and on the go, 100%. I've actually given this away to some of our beautiful butterflies in our Discord and Patreon chat, and they love it as much as I do. But microcurrent, it's just like, just like when, since when? It's like seeing one of your cousins at the holiday dinner table and they're like, oh, by the way, I just got my pilot and scuba diving license. And you're like, what the since when are you a pilot? What is happening? I thought you were studying psychology. Absolute confusion. Love this for LED, but for microcurrent, I have not even felt any microcurrent benefit from it. This for the microcurrent is a no from me. Now, when we actually get into some of the microcurrents that I have tried and do recommend, this was one of the first microcurrents that I used. This is the Foreo Bear, and I actually used to love this. It's very cute, it's very fun, it's travel friendly. Not as travel friendly as this, but again, this is LED, <laughs> doesn't work as microcurrent. This I actually liked. Uh, the problem that I had with it is that it no longer charges and I lost the charger and no matter what, I can't get it to charge. The Foreo has the Foreo Bear Mini and the big one. I tried them, I found them to be exactly the same. The New Face Mini versus the New Face Big One, I actually do see differences with, but when it came to this, I felt like the big one was just more money. I didn't see a difference between the Bear Big One and the Bear Mini, and I really do like the Bear Mini. But again, once I started playing around with the new face, I saw way more of a difference with the new face. I also don't think Ferreo has disclosed how strong it is. When I did use this, I found that it wasn't that strong, and I could get a little bit of like, you know, a little bit of lifting, but I felt like more of the benefits came from the massage than the microcurrent, whereas with the new face, it's actually attributed to the microcurrent, or with something like this that we're gonna talk about, it was a bit different. But this, um, I like it. If you want something travel friendly and cute, I would recommend it. But for most people, I think that there are better options on the market. And I was really pissed off by the little chargey thing. I guess New Face has the same issue. It comes with like a charger. If you lose the charger, then you're out of luck. But I was just so disappointed by this. And then the application for Foreo products is also really, really hard to navigate. I was trying to sign up for the Foreo app, but like they had me sign up and it was in Russian. Like it's a Swedish brand. I'm in America and the instructions were in Russian. I could phonically pronounce it, but I had no idea what the fuck was going on. Um, it was just kind of, you know, not the best thing. And as I've tried other products, uh, there are some better ones out there. One that is actually more recent for me is the Zip. This is really good. And if you're looking for a travel friendly device, I would recommend this. Now, I don't recommend the gel. This golden gel, ooh, if you're dry, you'll love it. But for me and my oily prone skin, this did not absorb. It was just super, super oily. Again, we probably have to do an entire separate video on gels. Let me know if you would like that or microcurrent conductivity ingredients because like New Face has some. I use ultrasound gel half the time. There's aloe vera gels. There's a lot that you could use. But overall, the gel for the zip was a no-no, but the zip 
itself was actually really good. When it comes to charging, it's one of the more universal chargers, so you can kind of plug and go. It does come with like a little carrying case. I actually really like this, and I like the way that the probes are spaced. Everyone has a different face shape and a different face size, but one of my complications with both the bear as well as this, as well as this, was <laughs> the size of the balls. <laughs> Just the size and the alignment of the balls on these things. Same with the bear. I, I felt like I couldn't really get it where I needed to go. And again, this makes a nice massager, but yeah, not much else. This one, it actually has things spaced nicely. If you want to do the jaw, if you want to do the cheeks, if you want to do by the eye area, by the brow area, frontalis muscles, this actually works. And the way that it's curved, it fits nicely into your hand, whereas this was just kind of hard to hold. And if you're doing this for five minutes, could probably muster it. But if you're holding this for a good 20 or 30 minutes because you're really going for like a deep treatment, you want something that's gonna work on the neck, on the face, you can easily hold it. The ergonomics are important. I really like the button. I found that this was a great product and I would recommend it. The issue that I have with it is that for the full like set thingy, it's $495. It's good, but that's what you would pay for the Trinity, which comes with, you know, like a bunch of different device heads. This is a really, really good one and I do recommend it, but I don't love the gel. And depending on what your skincare concerns are, this may or may not be right for you. For travel, ergonomics, it's great, but we do have some other ones that are better for my face. And now we have to get into my favorites. And this was actually really hard to figure out where these kind of align, but I think that some of these are better for different people. But right above the zip, I would say the one thing that is a little bit better in my opinion is the new face. I love the new face. I've loved it for years. I lost my new face, so I bought the sparkly one and then I found it again. Uh, but the new face can be expensive. They have the new face uh, Trinity and then they have the mini. I actually always recommend the mini. This has three settings, whereas these have five, but I have found that the probe are the pretty much same size. This actually works just as good, if not better. And this is like $200, whereas these are 500. Yes, these come with more settings. Yes, you can like, you know, pop this little lid off and exchange it. But for a microcurrent device, I really love the mini. This is also wonderful because it sits on my face so nicely. It just works with the contours of my face perfectly. And the way it beeps, it kind of tells you when to hold. Now, I think the new face is best for a beginner because again, I love, 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 love the new face, but this is not my favorite product of all microcurrents. There are some other options, but I wouldn't recommend this for everyone. For anyone who wants to lift their face, tone their face, and do it at home, especially if you're a beginner, this is perfect. It's simple, it's easy to use, and it's effective. Like I have seen major before and afters, and this is used in clinic. A lot of estheticians actually have a new face that they use. It's great, and new face also makes some of the best conduction gels, which at this point, I think we actually do need to do another video on the conduction gels. I love these, and depending on what you're looking for, the regular versus the mini, regular is really, really good, but it's more expensive. It's $500. If you can get it on sale, then get it. If not, spend $200 on the mini. Really similar results. There's three settings instead of five. Now, again, there are other options. This is something that I think is better for the neck and for the body. And oh my God, I just, I love this so much. This is from Metacube. This is a microcurrent device, but it's an EMS device, electrical muscle stimulation. That's what all microcurrent is. But this one, this one's intense. This one is intended for use on the neck, it's intended for use on the jaw, and use on the body. And this will shocky shocky your muscles. I have used this on the face and by the eye. When I use this, you can literally see my face twitch. It makes me salivate. This is so good, but this is for people who are okay, living life on the wild side. This is a shocky shocky device. I do not find this painful. I find it <laughs> stimulating, but for some people, this could be really intense. Again, that's why it's so great for the body and for the neck and, you know, be careful when you use it on the face. It does have different settings, which allow you to kind of take it easy, um, but you can be a little bit intense with this, whereas the new face, really hard to do any damage. Now, when it comes to this, one of the best things about this that the new face doesn't offer are these rolly balls, and the rolly balls are in the right shape. These conduct electricity, but oh my god these feel so freaking good this is like a massager i am obsessed with it i don't know how to describe it it pinches the skin and it lifts the skin and even if you're not doing the ems or microcurrent stimulation oh this just feels so good i love this for lymphatic drainage for muscle rejuvenation if you have like tech neck like this is just heavenly i literally could just sit here and roll this on my body all day and again 
worlds of difference between this. Before I knew this existed, I used this and I loved this. This is a world of difference. Even without turning it on, this is glorious. And again, it makes me salivate. But if you do turn it on, <laughs> It's, it's intense. I don't even have gel on right now, but it gets really, oh, is it dead? I think I'm out of batteries. I use this so often. It's intense. So this is great if anyone wants to do the body, especially if you're an athlete. This is really good for muscle stimulation, like on the neck, on the body, etc. especially trapezius. Oh, get it, the deltoid, oh baby. But I wouldn't do that with something like this. You can use this on the face. Uh, I've used it on the strong settings, but you might wanna go a little bit lighter, but it is overall absolutely wonderful. The difference is new face, much better for beginners. This is for people who like it a little bit extreme. And this was really hard because out of the next one, I was kind of thinking between these three, which one is my favorite? Which one is the best? And that's really, really hard. I would say all three of these are the best, but for different people. But when I actually think about my usage, my opinion as an advanced skincare user, I was like, yep, I know which one is the winner. And again, I don't recommend this for everyone, but if you are a skin intellectual, or if you are someone in my position who does skincare on others as well as yourself and knows your facial anatomy, Oh, baby, I got an option. And yes, it is cheaper than the new face. This is the Myolift Mini, and this is the one that's actually made for at-home use. 70 Wellness makes these like professional ones in clinic. Again, that is what I've used. I've literally done that on others and used this on others. But this is absolutely wonderful because it's a little at-home use one. You don't even need to plug it in. You can charge the battery and take it on the go. But this actually has two individual probes that you can literally use to isolate your muscles. And when it comes to me, I identify as a skin intellectual. I love the anatomy and biology of skin. I know where the zygomatic major and minor are. I know where my resorus muscles are. I know how to stimulate my masseter. And if you know facial anatomy or if you're willing to learn it, they do provide like Zoom lessons and training. They have like a training guide on their website. Then this is perfect. But this is not for somebody who just wants to buy something simple and go. This is beginner friendly. This is for people who are skin intellectuals and give a shit. What's amazing about this is that you can literally control every aspect of the mic. Microcurrent. So you can control the time, you can control the intensity, you can control the type of current. They have the erase and educate settings. And the way that they recommend using this is either by taking it and separating, or you can actually pinch and kind of hold individual muscles to stimulate them. I also like to anchor and to drag the zygomatic major and minor are some of my favorites. I also love to get the corrugator supercilli and some of the frontalis muscles up here, which again, you wouldn't want to do with Botox. But for people who get bad Botox, this is literally what I do for them to help stimulate their muscles and get rid of the Botox faster. Uh, the masseter muscle, the chewing muscle right here. Again, you can anchor and pull or you can kind of pinch or you can separate. This is just so good and you literally get to put them exactly where you want them to go. If you care about facial anatomy, if you wanna learn facial anatomy, this is a great way to do so. The other thing I love about this is that when you turn it on, it actually gives you a conduction bar. So you can see that I have zero conductivity right now. If I were to take, I'm actually just gonna take their gel because I have a little bit of it. I'm gonna take a little bit of this and I'm just gonna kind of spread it across the face. And remember, all microcurrents need to have a gel because you need to conduct electricity and create a circuit. But if I am to do this, I now have both of these in the gel. If I hit start, you can see that conductivity bar is now black. So this is telling me that I'm actually getting conductivity. I'm creating and maintaining a circuit. And that actually allows you to see if your treatment is working. Whereas with something like the new face, the Metacube, woo! Don't throw your products, okay? With any of these other ones, they don't give you that conductivity. So this is why it's really for pros. And this means that if you don't wanna use a microcurrent gel, let's just say that you wanna use like one of your favorite moisturizers or serums, you can actually see if you're creating that circuit. This is absolutely wonderful. Um, it's not as intense as EMS. Obviously this does way more when it comes to the shocky shocky factor. Even at the highest setting, I use this on 350 and I cannot get this to like overly shock my face. It doesn't taste overly metallic. I would say it's similar to the new face, whereas the Metacube could definitely taste metallic, but this is advanced, you know? This is like $300, $350. I have seen it go on sale. This is so good because you can control every aspect, but I would say that this is for skin intellectuals. And again, you can take it on the go because if you charge it up, you can literally use it in a cordless manner. As you can see, it's not plugged in anywhere and it's going and going. Um, and then you can plug it directly into a wall so you don't have to worry about like losing a charger. I absolutely love 
love this. And as I think about my usage case where I am a skin intellectual, I want to target, tone, and lift my face. I do use this on others. This is absolutely the best for me. It's the best price and it's wonderful. However, as wonderful as these are, they don't give me the same results on my neck and they don't give me the same type of massage as something like the Medicube. And as wonderful as these are, I don't recommend this for beginners the way I would for the New Face. And the New Face is wonderful. I've loved it for years, specifically the New Face Mini. This is fantastic. And this is so good for most people. So when it comes to the best microcurrent device that I've tried and I can recommend, End. For me, it is the Myolift Mini, but for most people, it's probably going to be the new face. Or if you're really obsessed with massage, you want to use something for the body, especially if you want to use something for the chin or for the neck, it's going to be this, because this is absolutely, I can't even talk about this without smiling. Like, I love this so much. But also, some of these might be available in one country and some might not be. Myolift, I know, is available in America. I don't know where internationally. Medicube comes from Korea, so that works. The new face, I think it's sold internationally, but I'm not sure. But I think that it really goes to show that one device is not going to be right for all people. A different person is gonna have a different use case. And on top of that, microcurrent isn't the right treatment for all people. Some people, especially those with Botox, might not want to use microcurrent at all. And again, regardless of who you are, I do not recommend stuff like this or really cool looking, hopefully solar powered face wands that don't actually solar power themselves at all. Cassandra, you should have known better. <laughs> I've listed all of these in the description as well as in the little YouTube tab if you click that little button. I also want to know if I'm missing any microcurrent devices. Tell me which ones I should buy and try next so that you don't have to. And if you want a video on the best conjunction gels, which ones taste like metal, which ones don't, which ones are overly oily and greasy, or which ones are better for dry skin, let me know. I am a genie in a bottle. Your wish is my command as long as it is content. I will do my best to bring it to you. So always remember to stay hydrated, both orally and topically. Always remember to reapply that sunscreen because that's really how you prevent your collagen from breaking down. And always remember to be beautiful both inside and out. I love you and I cannot wait to see you in this next video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.